Hello YouTube, my name is Michael Mendelevich. welcome to my kitchen, we're here to talk about photography. I started shooting 15 years ago, and I started with a digital camera, but now I shoot a lot of film. Some of you might think that shooting film is really slow, is not comfortable, is super expensive, and not nice. I'm here to ruin this myth. We're here to talk about photography and develop your first black and white film role. Let's go. To develop your black and white film, you'll need a developer. I'm using Kodok HC 110 here. It's one shot developer, so you don't need to keep records if you used it already or not. It's, it stays fresh for quite a time, I think for a year definitely. And it's already liquid, so you don't need to hassle. You'll need a fixer. I use Ilford Rapid Fixer. It's nice. It's just, I don't know why, it's historical. And you'll need a tank. I'm using Jobo 1500. You'll need your film. And you'll need to measure your liquids and temperature, so you'll need some devices for that. And you're good to go. So your process is fairly easy. You'll take your film, load it into your tank, then fill the tank with the developer, dilute it with nice clean cold water. When the time's over, you'll fix it with your fixer, wash your film for 10 minutes in the running water, and you're done. I'm using Jabo 1500 tank systems. It's really nice quality made in Germany, it's modular, so if you need it bigger, you can just install additional parts here and develop way more film in one go. Consists of a lid, tank itself, and a reel. Let's go close up and I will show you how to load your film into the reel. I'll use this piece of unwanted film in order to show you how to load it. So you have two finger places here on your reel and you get entry points here. You can feel it. When you're in the total darkness, you find your finger places and find your entry points. Then you hold your reel like this and align the film and move it here until it clicks two times. One, two. And push it in. Then you'll feel your film with your left hand here in this finger spaces. And you will be able to secure it like this. It will never go away until you hold it and push it in like this by the edges. I usually do it like this. There is also a second method for that. Again, you find your entry points with two clicks. Push it in until you feel it. Push it again a bit more. It's there. You rotate it like this and rotate parts of the reel against each other, holding with your fingers. You rotate this part, holding with the left hand finger, put your finger back, release this finger and push it in. And you suck all your film into the reel. It will end up with a little sticky paper. Just tear it off and secure it. And you're done. You put your film into the reel, close the lid, check that everything. We've loaded film into the tank. It's all safe now. The only lid that we can remove now is top one, just to pour liquids inside. Nice and tight. It's all set. If you're loading medium format film, just like I did now, when you turn on the light, you need to see this. If it's not paper and it's film, you're in trouble. So to avoid this problem, when you're loading the film, start unrolling your paper layer and put your fingers inside and start feeling what's happening there. You will, at some point, find the film. When you found the film, unroll a bit more, tear off a piece of paper, throw it away, and you got your piece of film to load in. That's it. 
So, we're all set. Let's go. We're back to the kitchen. And next up, we're going to soak the film in the running water for one minute or a bit more. Let's do it. Scary sport starts now. The water that you see is dark, but it's totally normal. That's the collation layer. Wash it off until it's gone. Let's make a developer. I used filtered tap water, only 400 something milliliters. 485. I'll pour four now. Measure the temperature. Yeah, it's around normal. And we are making HC100 then. Dilution B, which is 1 plus 32. 1 plus 32 means that we need one part of the developer and 32 parts of water which results in 33, right? So we will take 485 as a measure of our tank and divide it into 33, 14.6 milliliters. That's what we need. I'll take my bottle. Syringe, really handy thing in this procedure. I use special wide needles which lets me access my bottles easily and it's kind of fast. I actually use them for vaping but never mind. So this is 10. And 14.6. I mean, 4.6. To mix it, I use the same syringe like this. This will let me wash off all the remainings from my syringe. And I will have a nice, clean developer. And fill it up to 485. Check the temperature. Yeah, it's fine. We need 20. We need 20 degrees. Now, as I've told you, I'm using Death Chart. And we will be developing Ilford FB4 today. Where's my death chart? Yep. I have my recipe here. It's eight minutes at 20 degrees Celsius. We can take tank, flush the remaining water. Fill it in. And hit start. And we start agitating. First minute you agitate like this. Nice and smoothly because your agi agitation actually affects the qualities of your picture. The smoother you do it, then the smoother the picture will be. Because if you will do it harder, you will end up with harder contrast. Agitation works like washing hands with the soap. Your, uh, your developer is like soap. And to uh, renew this layer, 
you agitate. The liquid moves around your film and renews the layer and it works in the lights. When it stands, the layer works on the lights and gets exhausted on the lights and started, starts working on the midtones and darks. That's how it is. So we give, give it the time to work on all parts of the picture now. If you will be just agitating, you will end up with, jet, with harder contrast and lights really blown out. You don't want this, so give it the time. There's also a methodology which is stand development. When you don't agitate at all or agitate once in, in half an hour, you will have really low contrast, lots, lots of detail, sometimes grain behaves unpredictably, sometimes it gets bigger, sometimes it gets slower and finer, but let's go classic and then start experimenting. I hope this vlog gets successful and I will make lots of videos about this. After each agitation, it's really important to hit your tank on something hard, like a table, to remove the bubbles. Otherwise, you're, you will end up with dots on your negatives, which is not what you want. So the whole process of film development takes around an hour. From undeveloped film, just shot film, to almost dry film. Like, let's say we'll need another half an hour to dry properly, but still. 20 minutes of actual development, and you're there. And you don't need to travel to your lab, you don't need to pay for this, because chemicals are cheap and affordable. and. You can get them almost anywhere. If you can't get anywhere, try macodirect.de. It's a nice shop in Germany where I buy my stuff. And you can be sure that if there's something with, with your film, something wrong happened, you have scratches or something, you did it, not the lab. You don't need to blame anyone, just but, but yourself. And it's less likely to happen, to be honest. And you can be sure that you're using fresh chemicals which is also a benefit. So it's cheaper, faster, and the results are better. You care about your film more than the lab does. Let's fix the film. Try this once. Borrow your development tank from your friend or buy some, I don't know, used tank on eBay. Get some easy chemicals. You can start not with HC, HC 110, you can start with Rodinol, which is really old recipe for uh, old school, nice look, grainy and stuff. Super cheap. Films ready? I will reuse my fixer, so I will save it for later. And we need to watch the film for the next 10 minutes, but it's, it's ready. We can actually open it. Have a look. You see black squares, it means that there, there is a picture. If you see white stains or white marks on your negative, big ones, it means that the fixing process has not finished and you need to refix it. Just put back your fixer, agitate some more, give it some more time, you'll be fine. And now running water for 10 minutes. This is all very interesting because what we are doing now is a part of the creative process. You can use developers that will make your negative looks look like it was uh, put through Antwerp mask, for example. 
or you can achieve some really heavy grain or you can achieve some really low or high contrast you can do anything with your film at this point it's really sensible it's really nice and it's it's interesting it's kind of meditative the next series we will be inviting one of my fellow photographers to discuss his favorite recipes, discuss how he develops his film in his own kitchen and talk about photography. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost there. 10 seconds. The last step that is actually optional, it really depends on the quality of your water, but I always do it. We're done. I wash it with this rinse it. We need two milliliters of this liquid. And four eighty five of clean water. It's just really, really soapy liquid. When I just started developing, I was just using uh, Wash Up Fairy. Also worked. You just soak it there for about a minute. The thing that this liquid does, it keeps water drops from your film. So when it will be drying, all the water will come down. And it's ready. Here we are. We can check out our results. Don't touch the film with your fingers, let it dry by itself. If you have a squeegee, make sure that it doesn't leave any scratches on your film. I will just take this and let it hang with a little thingy on my lamp there for about half an hour or so. In the process of drying, film will be curving a lot, don't be afraid. This happens because emulsion layer and the base layer, they have different properties when wet and one dries faster than the other. So don't worry, don't worry too much. If you see pictures now and it's all fine, you will be fine. In the next episode, I will show you how do I scan my film I will invite one of my fellow photographers to share, to share his experience, recipes and know-hows. I will try to answer all the questions that you will leave down below in comments. And please like and subscribe to see the next episode. Bye!